This is Mike Foster with Almost Breaking News, and I'm a little sad because I'm here at the Opera House today, and Mike Burgraff is gone, and we're going to miss him in town here. And we we enjoyed everything he did for the, for the for the whole town and for the Opera House, and he made it what it was. But he's left now, and he's gone to like the Black Hills someplace, and I don't know when we're ever going to see him again. And am I in your way, Mister? Well, I'm I'm. S- it's Mike Burgraff. You're still here. I'm not. But apparently dead not for long. <laughs> Hi. 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 Great to see you. Nice I, to see you. I told you were leaving, though, and you're gone. But I you're am not. leaving, but I'm not gone. The, 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 the rumors of my departure are far whatever the Truman thing said. Whatever Truman yes. said, yes. Yeah, yes. So I am still here. Oh, that's great. On and off for a little while. What are you doing here? Well, I'm telling everybody that you were leaving, and I was going to get a hold of you and talk about some of the things that have happened in the past while you've been uh, here. Do oh. you have any memories you want to share? with us? 11 years worth. How long do we have? 11 years. <laughs> okay. I was born... No. Um, <laughs> this guy was too. <laughs> this has been an absolutely fantastic ride, and, and that's the best way to say it. 11 years at the Fairmont Opera House has been thrilling, exciting. The town has been wonderful. Uh, memories, memories. Uh, I was just downstairs packing up, and on came Natalie McMaster on my CD player. I've got it on random, and, and that, that, that's one of those great memories, that first big star that we had here where we, we paid a fee, and the next year her fee quadrupled because oh. she got national fame. Oh. We've had so many of those happen here. We've had Anthony Zerby, Roscoe Lee Brown, America, Ricky Skaggs, uh, Leo Kodke, uh, Arlo Guthrie twice. I mean, just those are the big names, but it, it's those it's those. Not so big names that have been the real fun ones. We have just had Pavlo back, and and what a gentleman he is. Uh, I've met some incredible people here, not only on stage, but in town too. Mm-hmm. Um, how many years of of glows have have we done together yes, and had so much fun? And that's been great. The um, ex mayor Chuck stopped by and told me I couldn't go, and I said <laughs> he'd have to talk to the new mayor about that. Uh, so so the, you, you know it has been fun. We've. I go camping a lot. I always try to leave the campsite better than when I left it, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm hoping that's what we do here in Fairmont. That's oh. what I have done. My, my real legacy, the one thing I'm terribly, terribly excited about is that this new generation knows the Opera House, and it knows mm-hmm. the entertainment that comes in. In the last 11 years, we've had over 400,000 kids come through the door wow. to see events. Holy cow. So it, it, it's been a good ride. So th- you really have had a lot of people come through these doors, and, and you've built up a subscription series from nothing to, to what it is now, too, where it's almost packed every day. It, it, it is. We have, 500, we have 500 seats here, and 460 of them are gone as part of the subscription series at this point in time. Um, when I first arrived, we had 60, and there was no subscription series. We put that together in six months. It, it was kind of interesting um, that the first show and the last show, Pablo was my last official show, and the weather was kind of bad, and people were calling, are you still going to do it? And it's like, of course we were. The very first show that I had scheduled at the Fairmont Opera House for the very first season was the lovely Leibowitz sisters, a good friend of mine, <laughs> and they got snowed out. So I thought, well, there's an auspicious start for 11 years, but, but it worked out very well, so it, it's been fun. And now you're, you're going on, but you're staying in the industry. You're moving into another system, right? I'm going back to the theater roots. I'm heading out to the Black Hills Playhouse in Custer State Park in South Dakota, and um, they do a five-show summer season. It's going to be a blast. Uh, they're at a crossroads as well, and I'm looking forward to the future out there. It's one of the few places, theaters I know, that um, people, when you drive in, all the audience will be on one side because the buffalo is standing on the other <laughs> side waiting for the, the doors to open. Okay, well, so it'll, be, it'll be fun. So you're guaranteed a captive audience. Right? <laughs> at, at, at certain times, that, yes. That, that's yes. good to know. That's good to know. So is there, is there anything you would like to leave as a parting wisdom for the, for the people of Fairmount or for or your predecessor that will take over here? Arts are important and a very good thing. For everyone. And you've done a great job on building everything up here, and the, the entire community of Fairmont and the entire area uh, owes you an a incredible debt for, for helping bring the arts to Fairmont like you have in the past. Do you know, and, and it's not me. Thank you very much for those kind words. But when I have the kids here, and I'm standing up on stage, and I look out at the audience, and I say, who owns this opera house? 500 of them holler back, now we do. It's not mine. It's the communities. It is the people's. And, and it will be up to the citizens of this community to continue it and to make it grow and thrive. Because without 
<laughs> Without people, it's just a rehearsal. That's true. That's very true. Well, you've played a big role in that, though, and I think the Opera House can, can continue to flourish with the right people and the right involvement from the community involvement. Here, here. So, Mike, we wish you all the best of luck. Thank and you. we're going to miss you. And you take man hug. Care. Man hug. Man hug. Okay. Get <laughs> it again, man. Get <laughs> it again. That's right. This is Mike Foster with all, almost breaking news, and uh, back to you.